What I have found in the story of Joe McDonough is a figure who is very much forgotten. I mean, my book, and I hope it's the first of, you know, more other books about Joe McDonough, other perspectives, I'm sure, but it kind of brings him out of the shadows and illuminates sort of the extraordinary active man that he was. I think it's very exciting for the museum and it's very exciting for, for Joseph McDonough and, and his family. We're very proud here of the legacy, that we celebrate the legacy of the McDonough family as opposed to the military aspects. Uh, we look at it very, from, a, from a very personal family perspective. So, so to have Joseph uh, McDonough's grandson here tonight was very special. And uh, listening to the, the things that Sean Hogan said and Jared and uh, Joseph and others was, was very exciting and gave me a lot of uh, ideas and going forward for the museum, for especially to commemorate Joseph in particular. Uh, as the title of the book says, he was the lesser known brother and he was uh, less remembered as a politician, even though he was extremely significant in his own right. And so it's very exciting for us to have context now. We have a beautiful selection of, of objects here related to Joseph. And it's wonderful that now we now have a context to put them into. He was a Sinn Féin activist, TD, councillor on two councils. He was alderman of Dublin Corporation. He was opposed to the treaty. He was briefly an editor of a Republican news sheet. And of course, more than anything else, most notably when you look at the news articles at the time, he was a very active political prisoner. He was imprisoned three times in the period, and particularly during the War of Independence, and just before it, during Thomas Ashe's hunger strike in 1917. You know, he is a leader amongst the political prisoners. He's the one creating, stirring trouble for the prison authorities. He's the one leading the other prisoners. So he's just an extraordinary active, capable man. And we're delighted to be here for the launch of uh, our biography of Joe McDonald. This has been an ambition of ours to, to get this, and we're delighted that George Shannon took on the commission of writing uh, for Tipperary and Decadent Revolution Group. And so it was a lovely uh, event here tonight with speakers, you know, with his grandson here, with uh, the museum here. What a venue to have, uh, the, you know, an event. It was few events you can have in the house where the person was actually rare when you're doing the biography of the person. And we're very grateful to the museum. Uh, for for that, uh, as well as Club Jordan Heritage Group, who've been here and have you know been keeping the McDonough family you know in in, in public attention, and so it's really been fantastic, and we had great support then also tonight from uh, members of the county council, including the Cahirla. Roger Kennedy from Cashel was here tonight and, and spoke at our event, which is very important the political support because Joe McDonough was himself an alderman in Dublin City Council, or Dublin Corporation as it was then, I should say, uh, and also at Mines Town Council. So he was deeply involved in the nitty gritty of running local authorities. I've always been struck on the museum here since my first visit in 2018 when I spoke with the Thomas McDonough Memorial Weekend. And no, I mean, look, for one thing, it's outstanding the fact we're here in the McDonough home where Thomas, Joe, Mary, you know, the other siblings, they all kind of grew under, you know, the upbringing and tutelage of their parents, Mary and Joseph Senior, of course. So for one thing, it's brilliant in the fact that this is the house itself. And But to walk around and not only illuminate Thomas's story, but Joe's story, like the other siblings, the parents. I mean, like this is the McDonough family piano behind beside us here. You know, it's, it is absolutely very much a gem here in North Tipperary. And it's important that everyone visits it, not only to get a sense of the contribution that this family had to, you know, the freedoms that we enjoy here today, but just to get a sense of the people that they were, the family they were. I mean, these were people who had, you know, talent and they had ordinary hopes and dreams like beyond the kind of you know fight for Irish independence so I would strongly recommend when you're in the area to rec to see and visit the Thomas McDonough Museum and recommend it to your friends and anyone interested in the period it is absolutely a gem here in the county.